Hey y'all, my name is Lucid ADHD. We are back with Bioshock 2. We're gonna start right where we left off. Here we are. Thank you, Mr. Big Daddy. Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. Here we are. Right here. you big bastard. Forgot how to heal. There we go. I need a stoa. Let's just talk to him. So, yeah. Back this on the middle part. <laughs> 
Okay, we'll go over there in a minute. How about you fuck off? How about that? Come on, you want the smoke, do you? Come on. but it's bolted up tight. You'll have to find another way inside, I expect. What do they expect? You keep enough drug stash in this clinic to slice up a rhinoceros? Of course every poor soul in the drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner. Eleanor's grown now, baby snatcher. Even after what you did to her, Dr. Lamb found a way to shape that something perfect, something holy. She's a daughter to us all. Nobody in Rapture will shelter you now. Grace has got the wrong idea. You're not responsible for turning Eleanor into a little sister. 
big daddies are just slaves, and you only recently broke free. That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? Easy now. You got the jump on this fella. Start your camera recording. Then hit him with a little bit of everything. Plasmids, firearms, whatever you can dish out. That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take him out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. <laughs> the fuck off me come on come on with it y'all ain't gonna touch her come on try not touch her see what happens see what happens see what happens come around it Now back to our early scheduled program. We need to take this little sister to a thingy if we can find one. There was one right here somewhere. Maybe it was down here. Yeah, I thought so. Thank you. 
This is so cool. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie. And that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. Let me just get out of my face. How about that? Sound good to you? It sounds good to me. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him. And then let him have it. Get you, Sport, a regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you. You've picked up a new trick from that big balloon. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. So we go, oh, yeah, she's mad. The paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her? Just did. Here we are. The Lux. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. 
Now, Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. Can do, Capitan. Mordok didn't hear you. Sorry about that. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. And an odd How about you just sit down and shut up? How about that? Sounds good to me, huh? You alive too? The baby snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. Hello? Now I got fire and ice together. One people, one cause. You didn't stop. This heart bleed this old body, but you cannot end the family. And as for you, Tim Daddy, you're dying alone. Gracie's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. Alrighty. <clears throat> Where's she at? What room am I knocking on? We both died tonight, monster. I, because your kind has killing in its nature, and you, because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. Trusted me to care 
for her child. And I tried. The baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you. Looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Your call, friend. Grace is unarmed for what it's worth. To hell with you, then. Go on. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirlybirds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. So yeah, I kept her alive because, you know, I'm supposed to be this bad person and everything, you know, but I'm not a bad person. I mean, yeah, I kill a lot of people, but, you know, I'm, I'm not that bad of a person. Trying to show people that, hey, I'm not the fucking problem, you know? going now tickets 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 well sir I don't know what to call you now you've done more than just spare my life you've opened my eyes I need to put a few questions to dr. lamb you do that by sparing grace do you seek to gain my trust a feeble ruse your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God! Ye shall never reach her God! <clears throat> Alrighty then. Kid, come on, wake up now. 
There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps and hurry. I see Father Wales has parted you from your craft, and yet you cling to life. Today, Delta, you meet a man who has no fear of death, and for Eleanor, he would burn with a smile. All right, y'all. Oh, look at that. Anyway, y'all, uh, I'm going to end this video here, and we will start right where we are now when we, uh, when we come back. Let me get these rivets real quick. Without, without further ado, I will see y'all in the next one.